Happy day, friends. We are exploring in the backyard today. The girls have been having so much fun. You caught a pet? They've been having so much fun catching. What did you get? A biggest grasshopper. The biggest? Where is he? I don't see him. Oh, I see him in there. We have been catching grasshoppers. Looks like this is the first one of the day. Did Paige, Paige, did you catch any yet? Not yet? Oh, I saw one just jumping next to you. We catched a lot. You had like 20 in your little bug bucket yesterday. Yeah. So you guys are doing great. Yeah, we had 20 and one beetle. And a beetle, that's right. And you've got your birthday crown on because your birthday's coming soon. Speaking of her birthday, I woke up this morning and realized her birthday party is in three days. I realized I have yet to get a final head count and order a cake. I kind of planned on just doing cupcakes anyway, so I think it'll be easy and I've got like little cake toppers, so I'm not too worried. Um, you're hungry? We just had breakfast. Oh my goodness. You guys are always still hungry. You guys are growing, that's why. Come on in, we'll get a snack. I'll show you guys the party stuff that I got for her a little bit later. I haven't gone through that yet either. It's been a, it's been a hectic week. Why has it been a week? A little maple, so we've got a, a maple donut over here. <laughs> because she didn't appreciate the dad joke that is awesome right here in front of her. No, I, was, I got I did. it. I appreciated it. So this is uh, basically an updated e-collar so she can't like chew herself. She still manages yeah, to somehow do somehow. it, but there's just been a lot going on between like end of summer. I feel like everyone is feeling a little like the girls are fighting more. We just haven't been getting out of the house as much as we would have liked to and we've had more work and just busyness going on lately and and I just feel like I need the kids to go to school. <laughs> no, but I'm very torn about that. My, my, blah, 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 blah. Matt, I'm Matt, very torn about that. I don't know. Micah. I don't know if we should touch on that. We, Why? We just and I have had a few fights yeah. Arguments, heated, heated, heated discussions arguments. about school. Passionate discussions, yeah, passionate. maybe is the better word. Mike is going to school this year, and it's just like we're all feeling a little tense about it. And we're, we've been back and forth between full day, half day, and really what works. And oh, it's been a thing. <laughs> but as far as maple goes, let me tell you guys what happened. I was like five minutes from leaving the house. I was going to Amber's. Uh, bridal shower. There's a lot of wedding stuff going on this month too, which is like another reason why we're busier than normal. Austin wasn't quite home yet. Uh, the girls, I think they were still doing quiet time. And I get up and I turn around and Maple is sitting in, underneath her entire leg is a big bloody mess. Absolutely caught me off guard. And so I get her into the bathroom and I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Realize that her leg is dripping blood. No idea how it happened. I figured just because of her skin issues that she like chewed it raw and, with, and that's kind of what happened. But I grabbed the closest thing I could, which was our hand drying towel in the bathroom, grabbed it, wrapped it around her leg, used the hair tie that was on my wrist, tied it as tight as I could, closed the door in the bathroom so that she would be on the tile while I ran upstairs and got bandages, gauze, wraps, like anything that I knew I might need grabbed it all, went back downstairs, realized that my little made up tourniquet thing was not doing the trick at all. It was still just like coming out. I was like a little bit concerned at that point. I did not know how much blood she was losing. She's fine though, you guys, she's fine. Happy ending to this story. I wrapped it the first time with like a bandage and, and wraps, realized that that was not gonna do the trick. Started bleeding through within minutes, I feel. Finally wrapped it up really good, um, got it all closed up, slowed down the bleeding. <laughs> Meanwhile, Austin gets home and he sees the bloody mess and he's like, what is happening? But after two, to two, maybe three days of wrapping her leg, realizing it's not healing on its own, we finally took her into the vet and they cut off a little lump, not cancerous or anything, she just gets little bumps sometimes um, and they cauterized it. And it's been fine ever since, but that was, that was a, uh, that was quite the event that she uh, put us through, poor thing. Yeah. Um, but she's doing a lot better now. We're just having her wear this because she keeps scratching and we don't want it to. Scratching and biting. Biting and. And now you've got a raw spot on your leg, but you're not bleeding. We just can't figure her out, you guys. We can't figure out the vet. We One took her to a different another. vet and uh, he said, you know, uh, otherwise she looks like a really healthy dog. 
We just can't figure it out. <laughs> you just got a lot of skin issues, girl. Yep. So Micah's birthday party is coming up. I think I mentioned that earlier. And three days away and I woke up this morning feeling totally unprepared. <laughs> Forgot that it was three days away. Realized that I did not order a cake yet. So we are probably just gonna do cupcakes. I'm just gonna get them straight from the shelf and put these little party topper things, cake toppers on it. Um, now, I probably won't use the Dementor. That's a little too spooky Halloween. -y. But there's some like golden snitches and witches and wizards, um, Harry Potter themes. We've got this happy birthday banner. Micah, oh, as well as this big Harry Potter balloon and little balloons. Micah wanted a Harry Potter party. She is absolutely all about Harry Potter right now. Um, because of that Hogwarts game that she plays, it's like a video game. Anything and everything Harry Potter right now. So she told us she wanted a Harry Potter party. We were all for it because it's fun. Like Austin and I grew up with Harry Potter. And so being able to see our kids love the same thing that we did when we were kids, it's just so fun. So I'm working on the party favors. Just a cute little favor bag. We've got the Harry Potter glasses. They each get a wand, a tattoo of Harry Potter's scar, and some jelly beans. I did not find the every flavor beans though in little packs, so I just went with the regular ones and thought those would be good enough. Yes, <laughs> you find? It has my name. It has your name? Yeah, it has M. Oh, well, I think that might be a W, but you can pretend it's an M, and that's a great idea. We got new little snack things, snack holders. Something else that we have been busy with, uh, I think yesterday kept us a little bit busy, is finally finishing Lucas's room. So we got his little uh, name banner over here, and then over here we've got some things up on his wall finally. Um, and guys, watch, look at this thing. Yeah, let's see that. <gasps> cool. Yeah, I like when it glows. Yeah, it's pretty neat. <laughs> And then this, be strong and courageous. We've got a little hat up here for now. I'll probably get a couple little things, maybe swap the hat out, put that on a different shelf and put something up above, but pretty cute. Pretty, pretty cute. And it finally feels complete, finally feels finished. You got, you got a clean diaper, Lucas. <laughs> Mr. Lucas, drooly boy. He is definitely growing physically, but also like mentally he is like, He's just doing more. Lucas, did you just pull my hair? Don't do that. Oh. That's my day. That's my day. Uh, are you kicking me? Are you kicking me with those feet? Ready? Ready? Are you gonna yell again? Sometimes he makes such a cute little Why do we eat in your bib? Why do you eat in your bib? Why are you so happy all the time? Huh? Why are you so happy all the time? Because all you all the kisses? All the kisses and all the attention you get from everyone? Yeah, he gets all the attention. He does, uh -uh. Huh? Yeah, you do. You do. You do. You do. Mommy, let's go in the great room where it's bigger. So we can roll more. Where it's this... bigger? Yeah. Can anybody help me? Micah, explain again what um, you're talking about. Help me Help me figure out what you're talking about. Remember what a farmer has? A farmer? It's, it's with... Big feathers on the back. Okay, and show me how it runs. Runs like this. <laughs> okay, now run this way. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> okay, we had a little, a little boo boo. You got a little rug burn, her first rug burn. Those are stingy, they sting, huh? But you're okay now, you're doing better. Now what animal could that have been? And they run really fast with their feathers back? I thought ostrich. Yeah. Is it not an ostrich? Is it just like a chicken? Yeah. Or a rooster? No, it's not one. But it's on a farm? Yeah, but it's huge. What huge bird am I missing out on? 
Here, let me show you a picture of an ostrich. <laughs> you tell me if this is it. And it's not a uh, pizza. This, this one's cute. That is cute, <gasps> little baby ostrich. Baby ostrich is really cute. <gasps> Do you see any of the bird that you're talking about? Turkey? Are you talking about a turkey? Yeah. Oh, a turkey. Is a turkey your favorite animal now? Yes. It is? A turkey's your favorite animal now? Um, the other day, actually, it's probably been like a week or more now, uh, Austin did his no. yearly podcast with the girls around their birthday. And we, I don't think we ever posted it. So I'm going to include it in this vlog. And uh, here you go, enjoy. Do you, can you hear? <laughs> Do I have three singers? Two singers, I mean. Go ahead, sing. Ha, ha, ha. Three. <laughs> Tinka. Turn. Turning that down. Tinka, Tinka, way. Okay, go ahead and sing. Okay, Micah, let Paige sing just for me. I want to add more things into it. Well, let her sing it one <laughs> verse so that you know where it's at. Okay. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I... Paige, how about we both sing it? Yeah, you guys both sing it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, 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 little star. Twinkle, 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 twinkle,
Well before your time, kid. Gosh, that sounds old to say. He, what are you doing over here? He's dead. <laughs> no, he's not dead. He is dead. <laughs> what is your favorite TV show? You can answer this too, Paige. What's your favorite TV show? I like Goji Nago and I like The Boomer Foo and Dragon Tales. What's, like what's your favorite favorites. movie or show? Mm, the Dragon Dragon movie. Dragon Tales? Ooh, I like the dragon oh, movie. Oh, How to and Train Your Dragon? I like yeah. Pussy I like, Boots. I like how to train I like how to train a dragon. Yeah? I like I dragon. like Dragon Tales, Goji Nego, and I like Zabuma Fu and Did you say Dra- Golden Ego? What did you say? <laughs> I like Go- Goji Nego and I What's like What's Golden Ego? <laughs> What's that? What show is that? I like Golden Ego. Golden Ego? <laughs> no, it's Golden Ego. Golden Ego? No. I don't. I can't read your mind. What is it? It's Golden Ego Go. Golden Ego Go. Go Diego Go. Go Diego Go. That's like Dora's brother, right? What's your favorite knock knock joke? Ooh. Daddy, huh. why are chickens so funny? Because <laughs> knock knock. <laughs> Who's there? Chicken. Chicken who? Chicken to the front door because. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? What on earth? What do you think you're doing? Please don't do that. You might break our lights. Please don't do that, ma'am. <laughs> I'm not a man. Well, you are a man if you're in trouble. Please don't do that. I'm not in no, trouble. No, don't do that. I don't know what that'll do to the lights, but I was always told it could break it, so. I need more. Right. Get set. And go. 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 Run, 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 run. <laughs> <laughs> Is that fun? That'll get the gas bubbles out. <laughs> hey, you are just the cutest little thing. Good job, Lucas. Good job. Micah, he's almost as fast as you are. Babysitter. Um, she's so sweet and she brought over a present for Micah. She got these little sticky blocks. They're just exactly what they're called sticky blocks. And you can just like build with them and stack them up. And oh, sticky cubes. A fidgety, crafty family toy. They're pretty neat. I've never seen them before. They've been having fun with them. And, get, and look what else. They're Personally, so they remind me of gushers that have melted. Yeah, they feel like gushers. They're like <laughs> super sticky, like gushers. Look at it. I have ducking tail. Hey, what what died the table over here? What did you guys play with? It was pink. Um, page. Dot markers. Dot markers. <laughs> See, this is why. Here, page. You, you get to play with This is exactly why wow. we are still using this table to this day, because it would get destroyed. Watch, you can do a flip. Whoa, that's neat. Do you want to learn how to do a back flip or a front flip? No. Because <laughs> well, I tried to do one when, when our babysitter was here, and, and I bumped my head. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I can't. You know, Mommy did that one time, too, when I was a kid, and I had a babysitter over, and I landed flat on my back. I don't know what I was thinking. I I did I did it I did it land on my back. I just bonked my head. Oh, I'm sorry that happened. Sometimes we think we can do things, and then we realize it takes a little bit more practice, huh? Have you ever seen Micah do this? No. What's she doing? She gives Lucas like a little toy, and then she sits down on the chair with a book and reads a book to him. 
Oh my word, that is the cutest thing. <laughs> right? She's reading How to Charm a Llama. Mm. <laughs> you must not, never touch a llama. Must never charm a llama. <laughs> Trying to read it, oh, rather. Oh, it'll be a disaster, and llamas doesn't float. <laughs> <laughs> now look at Paige playing with them. <laughs> Maple the Donut Lord. <laughs> Maple donut! Maple donut doggy! She, there it is! <laughs> she gets so grumpy in this thing that she'll like charge through you. <laughs> what? Austin I know. has tried and tried and tried to get it out. It's not fun for anyone. And else. we don't know what else to do. Well, I have an idea. I know that if we hired a professional, they would likely be able to get it out pretty easily. It's just we don't want to have to hire a professional for a little spot. Because our carpets, they're, what are they? Like, they are like sealed. Nothing gets in, nothing gets out. The way that they like dye these carpets, I don't know exactly how they do it, but it makes it so stains will not set in. I don't know, Jerry's still out on that one. We're, we're just, Austin has like done research on YouTube. Heck <laughs> and yeah, it's the greatest resource ever. I know, ever. it really is, it's a good resource. And uh, he's, you can see like, the circle around it is really clean. <laughs> you can see like where the dinginess starts to set in. But then we've still got just this stain right here. We may want to just get our carpets cleaned after all. No! <laughs> oh, you I said. shouldn't have to. These carpets aren't even a year old. I know. But dogs and pets, they're just, they're just a little dirty sometimes is all. But Maple's not bleeding anymore. That's good. That's good. What other tiger? Is there another tiger? Where? Are you okay? <laughs> the, the one. The tiger one. Tiger tiger. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. I'm gonna get it in my room. Just don't fall down the stairs again, okay? Okay. Yeah, because that was a little scary, huh? I'm glad you didn't get hurt. <laughs> I was hurt. Well, yeah, you did get a little hurt, but you're not like injured. Injured, me. injured means like really hurt. Like sometimes like a permanent Can hurt. Like Let's see. <gasps> Look at this tiggy. All right, Paige, let's get ready for bed because mom is exhausted. Is it? Okay. Is it just me? Is it me, just me and Austin? Like we're both very tired lately. Is it just like an end of summer thing where we're just like done doing activities and we're ready to be done with it all? Ready for some structure, some routine? I know I am very much ready for some structure and routine in our lives. But are you guys like just tired? Are you just tired? Is parenting like really just setting in permanently? We're just tired all the time? Her name is Claw. Claw, that's such a great name for, for a tiger. Is it short for Claudia? We will just call her Claw. But we hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today and we'll see you next time. Bye friends.